There are times when you need to reset your iPad, iPad mini, iPad Pro without your Apple ID. And this could be for a whole lot of reasons. And there are several ways this can be solved. When it comes to resetting an iPad without an Apple ID or an iCloud password, iMyPhone is always a good choice. To do this, LockWiper utilizes the Unlock Apple ID setting, which is designed to wipe out all data on your iPad in minutes. Here are the steps to reset your iPad without an Apple ID or an iCloud password. One thing that should be noted is that you should make sure that you can access your iPad settings. It cannot remove the iCloud activation lock screen. You can reset your iPad whether Find My iPad is on or off. Connect your iPad to a computer. Select the Unlock Apple ID mode. Click on Start Unlock, and several minutes later, it's done iMyPhone LockWiper is fully compatible with the latest iOS versions and all models of iPad. Not only can you reset your iPad without an Apple ID via this tool, you can also fix any other Apple ID problems with ease. Turn off your device. Hold down the Home button. Make sure to keep holding the Home button until you see the Recovery Mode screen. Connect your device to the computer. Now you can see the option to update or restore your device in iTunes. Click Restore. And after this process is done, iTunes will download and install the latest version of iPad OS on your device. By the way, if Find My has already been disabled, you can directly enter your iPad after resetting it. If the Apple ID belongs to you, you can easily reset your Apple ID and password, even if you've already forgotten both of them. Apple has provided detailed steps regarding three situations. Email, password, and security questions, two-factor authentication, and two-step verification. We'll describe the first situation. Go to appleid.apple.com. Click Forgot Apple ID or Password. Input your Apple ID. If you forgot it, you can go to your iPhone's iCloud, iTunes and App Store, and many other places to find it. Choose Answer Security Questions or Get an Email to reset your Apple ID password. After that, you can use the new password to sign into all of your devices that are linked to the account. Back up your important information before resetting to avoid losing them permanently. This is because the iPad reset wipes out all of the data with the aim of restoring the device to its factory state. If there's no backup of your data, you're likely to lose it in the end. Ensure that you have the latest version of iTunes on your computer or Mac if you want to use the iTunes option to do a factory reset. If you're planning to resell your iPad or donate it, then it's important to wipe out sensitive data before handing it over to the new owner. Okay, that's all for today's video. Which method to reset your iPad without an Apple ID or password do you prefer? I'd really appreciate it if you gave this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.